weather. Not much of a break for you tonight. No, it's been pretty busy, you know, not widespread thunderstorms. In fact, uh, to the west of the Red River, nothing. It's just a hot and muggy kind of an evening, but boy, things really uh, fired off in northwest Minnesota. Certainly did. A lot of damage, and here is a look at the very latest. Right now, conditions remain hot and muggy in the FM area. It's 83 degrees here. The 10 o'clock hour winds gusting to 23 miles per hour. They remain from that warm and muggy southerly direction. And here's a look across the region. You can tell where the thunderstorms impacted temperatures. 66 in Thief River Falls, 81 this hour in Valley City, and 78 still in Sisseton. And again, temperatures today reached the triple-digit readings out in the western and central Dakotas. Things a lot cooler, though, in Minnesota, where we have storms moving off to the east. You could see the most intense lightning and concentrated lightning, where we've seen many videos posted on our Facebook page. Thank you so much for sharing. Just that nonstop lightning lighting up the sky. Now it's leaving the Pennington County area. So this warning will be expiring here during this weather broadcast. But down here, as we move into Red Lake County and central and eastern Polk County near Faustin, that is where this storm is making its way through. Now, when it made its way into and through the Thief River Falls area, the emergency manager reported 80 mile per hour winds. We have numerous reports of power outages and also damage to trees along the paths of these storms tonight and up to four inch diameter hail in the early evening in Roseau County, as we showed you earlier. Storm moving south will be in Brooks at about 1010 here before I'm done talking about the weather. McIntosh 1027 and 1034. Faustin brace for a very windy and uh, storm capable of some sizable hail. Also, the storm is rotating as it works its way down to the south. Severe thunderstorms can, with very little notice, produce tornadoes. So seek shelter, stay away from the windows, and there are some very large trees being toppled by these storms tonight. So stay away from them exterior walls as well. Notice that we have storms in the Clearwater County area, also down towards the Monoman County area, moving off to the south and east. All rotating a little bit. Here's one that is just exiting Monoman County, pushing it to southern Clearwater County. Bagley, another round of storms for you after damaging storms earlier this evening. Our Bauer forecast shows these storms quickly get out of here as we head through the overnight. Now, for most of us, there's going to be a break, allowing us a chance to see those Perseid meteor shower. That peaks tonight. Temperatures dropping only into the 70 degree range, and we could see, could see some isolated morning thunder showers as well. As we head through midday, it looks like another scorcher out there. Now, our wind will be variable in direction throughout the day. Temperatures by midday already into the mid 80s for many of us, and it does look like we'll scream up into the low to mid 90s. There will be a brief northwesterly wind, so maybe a chance to take an edge off of some of that humidity, but it isn't going to be appreciable. And it looks like another hot evening tomorrow with the best chance of any thunderstorms to the south and to the east of our viewing area. Here's a look at your planning forecast for Fargo. Tomorrow morning, 70 to start your day. Wind will generally be shifting, but it won't be very strong. 88 for your lunch hour. That'll make the tuna sandwich go south pretty quick. So. Tell you what, it's going to be a hot one in the after school hours as well. If you're going to school, 8, 95 degree day. Just think of that coming up here shortly as back to school isn't too far around the corner. A lot of near 90 degree readings at 3 in the afternoon across the entire region. Look at the sunflowers. They're enjoying the sun. Rick, thanks for sharing this. We saw a lot of these across the prairies. Hopefully, you guys in northwest Minnesota got some crops up before all that hail hit. Quiet and 97 on Friday. Look at Saturday, 101 sizzling degrees. Chance of storms Saturday night into Sunday could be severe. And then we get some more seasonable weather to close out the weekend. All right, thanks. Thanks, Hutch. We're going to go back to that breaking news we led the newscast off with tonight is over at the Econo Lodge in South Fargo. That's 1401. 35th Street South. We now know a little bit more information about the individual that they're looking for. He's 23 years of age. That's a live shot there. He was a white male who fled on foot. Uh, a white shirt he was wearing and camouflage uh, pants. Now the stabbing took place uh, about 9:30 uh, this uh, uh, this evening. And again, we have a reporter on the scene. We will go to her later on in this newscast. Still to come on Valley News Live 10 at 10, the quarter pounder is now a little more than a quarter pounder. How much beefier it is. Up next, help for the plenty of families in the Valley needing it. What's being ordered to make care for a child with special health needs easier?